Hello everyone and welcome to another beer review and today we're doing another Portuguese beer but we're actually doing a Pilsner. Hmm. So yeah, this is uh, a beer from the Superbock group. So the same company that makes Superbock and uh, Superbock Stout and all the other ones. So yes, but this one is a bit different. It's 5.1%. had to actually take a photograph and then enlarge it because even with the glasses on, I couldn't read the bloody alcohol content of the bloody can. Jesus, there's no way it has to be that bloody small. Um, but yes, it's made with a Superbock group, which funnily enough is a, a bigger font than the alcohol content. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it, but this there, just right next to the 33CL, that's how small they made the alcohol content, so that's a pain in the ass to see. Apparently it's showing kind of a award medallions on the can, and it's crystal. So anyway, so it's Crystal Pilsner, 5.1%. Now again, this is roughly about one and a half euros for a small can. I haven't seen it in big bottles. I have seen it in big cans. And I have seen it in small multi-pack bottles and cans as well. So let's crack it open and see what a Portuguese um, Pilsner's like. Let's see. It pours a bit like super hot, as you can see there's a lot more head with it. And you seem to get that when I've been pouring because I've been drinking quite a quite a bit of super boxes of in here. So I know how it actually pours and yeah you're getting more of this type of head with super box than you are with any of the other um, Portuguese beers, light beers that I've tried. So what am I getting? Milk sweetness, grain. And that's it. Maybe slightly, there was a slight hint of chopped tomatoes, you know, kind of fresh in the salsa, kind of smell, which kind of gives an idea there's a little bit of acidity there. But yeah, that's it. And this is the type of what it goes down to. It goes to this head and it just kind of sticks to the glasses. It seems to be the kind of normal super bob way. So let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Right. It's lighter than Super Bowl. So it's, so it's a bit lighter. Hmm. Maybe a bit too light, actually. It tends to kind of dissipates off the blandness very, very quickly. <laughs> right, let's, let's break this down. Trust me, it's not going to be long. I'm not going to take long at all. Start off with a little bit of multi sweetness at the start. It goes into the mid tongue and you're getting very, very light green, very, very light green. And you're getting a slight bitterness, you know, a slight hoppiness to that type of stuff. But it's very, very light. And that, that, that's what you've got. It just sits there in the mid tongue. And then it goes into the aftertaste where everything just dissipates almost instantly. There is real, there isn't really an aftertaste at all, to be totally honest, and uh, there isn't a real finish, there isn't a, a crisp finish or a refreshing finish, there's just really nothing. I mean, after the initial flavour, at the front of the mouth, everything after that, Just, just isn't really there. It just there's hints of flavours, but nothing really cast out. I mean, it's like the friend to commit <laughs> from that point of view. It really is. 
a shadow of what Super Vodka is. I mean, be totally honest, you buy Super Vodka original in the Cerveza compared to this, and you did them side by side, there's, there's, there's no comparison. Super Vodka stands out way, way ahead of this. This just, I mean, it's showing these type of uh, kind of shields in the can as if it's supposed to be some sort of. Um, awards and things like that. It doesn't really say anything about it um, on the can. It just kind of hints at that, but that could also just be it's, it's made by an award-winning group from that point of view. But yeah, my view is if the choice of this or Super Bop, I'd go for Super Bop every time. I would also go for Sagres before this as well. It's just, and of course, it's gone kind of dead as well, which again, Super Bop doesn't really do. It's, it's alive. And, I think just in general, it's just kind of crap. <laughs> to be totally honest, it, it's an anti climax. I think, oh, it's from the Super Bowl group, it's a pose now. Oh, well, yeah. Just like, oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, my recommendation is if you're over here, you might, I would maybe say, yeah, get a can to try it, you know, from that point of view, but. Don't buy a multi-pack until you have tried it because you probably have a good chance you'll be disappointed. Especially after you've tasted Super Bowl and then this. So yeah, it's 5.1%. It's roughly about one and a half euros for a small can, 330 ml. Again, I would say it's below half average. I'd put it in the same, I think we tried Kingsborough, I would put it kind of to the same kind of level as that, to be totally honest. I think I gave that three out of ten, and I would give this three out of ten. There's nothing really there, it's, it's just bland and boring. So, yeah, three out of ten. I'm not going to say you should try it if you want to try it, then try it. But hey, I would only buy one can, I wouldn't come out to any more than that until you have tried it. You might like it, you might not, but me, 3 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Cheers and bye for now.